Hi guys, I thought I'd do a video today um, about the uh, my disappointment with the TYT 9800 um, in the car. I had this radio in the car um, a while back and for those of you who watch my videos, you'll know that I had a problem with this radio. Um, inside here is a little cable that connects the front face to the radio and it, it went faulty somehow and um, decided to stop working. So. One YouTuber said to me, it could, you know, it could be a problem with the cable. When I switch the radio on, the fan powers up for a split second and then goes off. So um, I thought, right, well, we'll, uh, we'll try putting the separation cable in. So we did, uh, and it works. I've been using this radio in the car. You can see it's mounted on uh, on a bracket here. Um, I've been using this radio in the car, and uh, yeah, everything everything seemed all right. So I used it last night. Um, went to meet a friend. Got back in the car an hour or so later, boom, radio's not working. Um, same symptoms as last time. Um, and uh, yeah, the fan comes on, doesn't work. So I've checked the cable as best as I can um, and concluded that, that that's what's the problem again. It's unlikely to be anything else because of the, uh, the, uh, the symptoms are the same with the fan popping on and off and stuff like that. And, uh, and yeah, and there's no, there's no fuses gone, the fuses are fine. So. So yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to whip this radio out and we're going to go back to um, the uh, the good old faithful, the ICOM 207H, which is the uh, dual, dual band um, mobile radio there. I've had this for years, absolutely years. It's about 20 years old now, 19, 20 years old. Um, it's always done me well, so we're going to whip we're going to whip this uh, this um, 9800 body out of here um, and get the, uh, the ICOM 207 back in. So, uh, so yeah, so we've got the dog with us today, Ruby. What do you think? Hey, so we'll um, we'll get this radio whipped out and we'll um, we'll uh, put the other one in. So, I brought, brought my um, electric screwdriver just to make it a little bit easier and quicker. So, we'll take that out of there and we'll put the power lead first. screws. I'm glad I didn't spend too much time on um, a fancy install for this radio really um, because uh, it's had to come out twice now so what's the, uh, it's had to come out twice now so um, which isn't, uh, isn't great so I'm glad I've not spent too much time or any money on a, a fancy install and, uh, yeah, I would, I would be annoyed. Just... Watch out. The dog trying to get in the front here now. <laughs> okay, so, let's whip that down there. Unscrew the antenna. Okay, so there's the two radios side by side. Got the TYT on the right and the ICOM uh, to the left. Um, almost the same size, so it's good that the uh, the mounting bracket fits. Um, so I don't need to take this out, which is uh, which is good. So we'll um, we'll uh, we'll put the uh, the ICOM in. This is the uh, this is the bracket that I made. A very crude camera tripod um, and just hot glue to keep it keep it secure. Um, but it's done the job. And then the uh, the microphone just uh, just hooks onto the side here uh, on this trim. So uh, so yeah. So let's get this icon in. So the radio body's in uh, in there, nice and secure in its bracket. So we'll just um, we'll just mount the power lead and the antenna now. Yeah, I've already done the uh, already done the antenna. I forgot about that. This uh, power lead in place. Okay, so we've got power 
power on, plug the, uh, plug the microphone back in place, in there, and we're good to go. This is the only part of the, mi of the radio that's ever let me down on the microphone. I had to replace this twice, the button in there um, broke, but, uh, but yeah. So we've got the uh, got the radio in, so we'll just put um, put a quick call out, check our power here. That's what we want. So we'll just um, put a quick call out, see if anybody's about to give us a radio check. M3 HHY Mobile, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile. Um, just for a quick radio test, if anybody's monitoring. No one will be monitoring. Oh, no one will... Uh, no one will. No one will come back to me, let's go to uh, 10 watts. M3 HHY Mobile, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile, just for a radio report if anybody's monitoring. Nope, well, plan B, we'll just see if the. Um, so we're receiving some there, we'll just go to my uh, local repeater and see if we can open that. M3 HHY, testing. Two is zero GXE M three H H Y monitoring Ben. Nope. Okay. Well, we're opening the repeat anyway, so we uh, we know it works. So, uh, so yeah, it's a shame we've had to uh, we've had to put this uh, this T Y T to bed. I have ordered um, a spare lead, but um, I'm not holding out much uh, much hope for this. Uh, it's really, it's not it's not the best of radios anyway. It's not not a good radio. I wouldn't recommend this radio at all, to be honest. Um, it, it is uh, crap, um, you know. So, um, so I noticed the price on eBay's been creeping up as well. So, not not for me anyway. So, uh, so yeah. All right. Well, that was the uh, that was a good old uh, good old faithful put back in the uh, back in the shot there, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Seven three for now.